Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, I want to do my top five league predictions, guys. So it is now time for me to predict the top five leagues. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And before we start with the video, I actually want to announce my prediction contest. So this season, guys, um, I want to do a prediction contest for all the leagues in top five, right? And so what I figured the best way to do this is by rather than you predict the placements of each team, you guys predict each of the matches each of the weekends. So, for example, let's say hypothetically next weekend we do La Liga, right? So La Liga, it's simple. You're just going to predict all the La Liga games next weekend, just La Liga, no other leagues, right? And then the following weekend we'll do Bundesliga. So, essentially, we're going to rotate from every league from the top five. So, every league you're going to essentially do once a month. And so, basically, that's how it's going to work. And whoever does the best gets the most points, you know. And the point system is simple, guys. You just predict a win or a draw or a loss. Uh, that, that's pretty much it, you know. You don't have to go into the score itself, you know, predict 1-0 or 2-0. I don't care. I just want to know the outcome, right? And if you get the right outcome, you get one point. If you don't get it, you get zero points. It's as simple as that. And here, and if you want to participate, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing this on the community top post. I'll be pronouncing this on Thursday. Thursday mornings, probably, I'll try to do maybe Thursday afternoon. I'll do it sometime on Thursday because, you know, we have games on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday, I'll probably t uh, tally up the points and tell you guys the leaderboard and all that. And if you could get a big turnout for this, guys, I may consider giving a prize. I may consider giving a prize if we get a good turnout for this. If we don't, then I'm not going to do a prize because I feel like we need a lot of people. So, like I said, guys, um, if you guys are interested, you know, join the community tab. And, yeah, that, that's pretty much how it's going to work, guys. So, like I said, guys, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys do enjoy. So, now let's go ahead and get on to the video itself, man. Go on to the predictions video the guy, the moment you guys have been all been waiting for. So, let's start with League on, guys. And just to give you guys a um, FYI, I'm going to be predicting just the European spots and the relegation. I will not be predicting the entire table because that will take too much time. And quite frankly... I think you guys will get bored. So I'm just going to make it the more... We're just going to talk about the interesting stuff. Okay, guys? So let's start with um the relegation, guys. So let Havre, I think they'll go straight back down. They were one of the... I think they just about survived last season. So I think they're going to go straight back down. I hope they can survive. But I'm pretty sure one of the teams... One of the teams that barely survived last season will go down. So I think they'll do it. Andres, I think, will go down. They just got back promotion. And the same goes for Oxairs. The only team I have not getting re relegated that pro got promoted as said Etienne. So, yeah. Let's talk about teams that are going to get European spots. So, sixth place, guys, I'm going to go with Rennes. I think Stad Rennes will get the Conference League playoff spot. I think Rennes is a good team, guys. I like the players that they have. You know, they kept the core intact, and I think that's important heading into the new season. So, yeah, I think Rennes will have a good season. Uh, and, yeah, this will be the first full season without Jeremy Doku. So, yeah, I think Rennes will cook, and I think Terrier is a player to look out for. Next up, it is Olympic Lyon. I think Lyon will uh, have a good season this season. You know, they're in the Europa League. And now they just added, uh, they had already had Lacazette. They already had um, Orban. And now they're going to add Mika Dots. Mika Dots is now in the team. And I think that's a huge boost to Lyon's attack. And it just shows that Lyon are strengthening this summer. And we saw how good Mika Dots was at the Euro. So I think he's a crucial player. And I think Lyon will cook this season. So I think Lyon will have a great season. Then fourth, I'm going to have is Leo. I think Leo are going to still do well. Like I said, this season, I think they're one of the most underrated teams in the league on. I just can't put them any higher just because they haven't had much business. They haven't made a lot of good business. They haven't had a lot of departures too, which is why they're still at the same rank. But I think Leo is still a great team, man. And I think John the David is so crucial to this team, guys. And so, yeah. Third place I have is Marseille, guys. Marseille, after having a disastrous last season with finishing mid-table, no European football. I believe they finished eighth. Now this season they have no Europe. And so now they can put all their eggs in the um, league basket. And they made some good signs. They've got that Man United player, that ex-Man United player. We all know about him. I'm not going to mention his name. Um, but you guys know who I'm talking about. It's a certain English player. And then they signed Ismail Kone. And, and I just think that now with Marseille with no European football and you still have Pierre-Emerick Obama at the club, I think he is going to have a crucial impact on Marseille. And I think Marseille should go back into the Champions League after a few seasons of not being in it. So I think Marseille will finish third. At the Monaco, I think we'll finish second. I think Monaco, 
I still like the Monaco team. They're still very strong, still very well coached, and I think Monaco will still do great this season. You know, you have players like Paulo gone, they're still there at the club, and yeah, I just think that's a, he's an important player for them. And of course, you got Minamino as well. So yeah, I think Monaco will cook. At the first, I have is PSG. Even without killing Mbappe, I still expect PSG to win the league title. Now, if PSG don't win the league title, we're going to have to have an emergency stream on the channel because even without killing Mbappe, PSG should still be able to win this league. So here's a recap of my predictions, guys. And I actually have my top score on the right side of your screen, Jonathan David. I think Jonathan David will be the top scorer now. Now that Mbappe is left, he can finally get that golden boot that he's been so deserving for for some time. So I'm going to go with Jonathan David. Let's move to Bundesliga, guys. Bundesliga time. So last place I got here, it is Holstein. Um, like I said, they're just they're just playing the Bundesliga, I believe, the first time ever in their history, which is an absolute incredible achievement. Unfortunately for them, though, I think reality will set, and I think they'll go back down. I hope I'm wrong with this prediction, though, because, you know, it would be nice to see them stay up. But realistically speaking, I don't think they have enough to stay up. And the next I have is FC San Paulo. They have been the Bundesliga before, but not for a while. I think the last time they were there was like what, the 2002s, I think, something like that. I don't quite remember, but it's been a while since they've been in the Bundesliga. So I think they're going to they're gonna struggle. And I think for that reason, they will finish, of course, in the relegation zone. And then just about to survive is Bokim. Bokim is going to find a way to survive, guys, through the playoffs. They're going to find a way. So they're going to survive. Just do the bare minimum. And then now for the European spots, guys. I have is Warder Bremen. I think Warder Bremen is going to get European football. I've been really impressed with Warder Bremen. I think they've been on the rise. And now I think Warder Bremen will finally get that European football they've been so deserving for for some time. And I think they'll finally do it this season. Next up is Frankfurt. I think Frankfurt had a great transfer window. They made a lot of signs this window. And I think that's very important for Frankfurt. Um, and yeah, so uh, they did lose one of their best players. So Sebastian Rode, who I think is was one of their best players, you know, He's now retired, I believe. So, yeah, Frankfurt this season, man, I think could have a good season. Uh, then I put Stuttgart in fifth. I don't think they'll be able to do as well as they did last season because they lost a lot of crucial players. They lost uh, Ito, their center back, uh, who is a big loss, and then they lost Gorossi as well. So that's a huge loss. But I still think Stuttgart will have enough to get European football, but not quite enough to get Champions League. I don't think they can get Champions League like they did last season, but it'd be nice if they could get back-to-back -back Champions League appearances. RB Leipzig, of course. I think RB Leipzig will get fourth. They've been great. You know, they still have some great players like Hopenda comes to mind. Then you have, uh, you know, players like that, you know. And I just think R RB Leipzig. Oh, yeah, I forgot how to mention uh, uh, that striker, Sesko. Sesko is a good striker. So, yeah, Leipzig, I think, will finish fourth. They have a great, solid team. And then third, I have is Dortmund. Dortmund have actually had a great window, guys. Dortmund have made a lot of signs. They brought in Pascal Gross. They brought in Garassi. You know, they made some good signs. I just think Dortmund needs to sign some defenders, man. Dortmund needs to sign some defenders. I don't know why Dortmund have always neglected the defense for some reason. It just feels like they go for every other position except the defense. So they have to they have to sign some center backs. But they should have enough to finish third. Other uh, guys, Bayern Munich guys, I think they'll finish second. I know Bayern Munich had a great transfer window. They brought a lot of players like Olise. I know they brought a Hiroko Ito. I know they brought in... Um, uh, Palinha, uh, but I don't, the big issue I have with Bayern is company. I just don't trust company to win the league title. I just don't. I just think that Leverkusen, they have kept everything pretty much intact, most of the team. The only thing that I think may Leverkusen may lose at the time of recording this video is maybe John the Ta. John the Ta might potentially be going to um, Bayern Munich, and that could be a loss for Leverkusen, but I still think Leverkusen is still very strong. They still kept Javi Alonso which I think is critical, and I just think Leverkusen will do back-to-back. -back. I just think their team is too good, and I just don't see how Bayern is going to do it. So I think Leverkusen will win the league, guys. And the top scorer, guys, is going to be, once again, Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane will be the top scorer, uh, but he will not win the Bundesliga trophy that he wants. So, yeah. Let's move to the next league, guys. The next league we got here, it is Serie A, guys. Serie A, guys. Coming to last place, I have is Empoli. And fully for me, guys, I just think I've been struggling for the last couple of seasons. And, you know, they barely survived last season. I believe they survived by a goal against Roma. And, yeah, I think they'll go down this time. And I think they'll get relegated. Uh, the 19th place up is Vanessa. I like Vanessa's kits, guys. But I don't think the Vanessa team is great. So, I think they'll go straight back down. They just got promotion. 
and then Calgary, I think, will go straight back down. Um, I actually, well, actually, no, Calgary have been in the league, but they are also in a relegation scrap like last season. And guys, I actually think Como is going to survive. I actually think Como is going to survive because of the fact that they got Rafael Verón. So, yeah, those three teams I think will go down. And yeah. Uh, and the next up is the Conference League, guys. I think Fiorentina will just about get Conference League. I've not been too impressed with Fiorentina, if I'm being real, but. The thing with Fiorentina is that they always they're they're always around that same position. They're you know they're gonna get it. So I just feel like for me they're gonna do it just about. Um, you know, got you got players like Juan Aventaro and Nico Gonzalez. You know, got some good players. Now they have just signed. Now they have signed De Gea now in goal. Who could, I mean that could be a good signing. So yeah, for Fiorentina as I said, man, I'm not really sure what to make of this team, especially knowing their coach uh, Vasazo Italiano has left. So, but yeah, I think Fiorentina will just about scrape seventh place. And the sixth place I have is Napoli. I think Napoli will get sixth place, you know, with their new coach, Conte, now in this team. We know how good uh, Conte is in league football. Um, at the time of this point in this video, there is a chance that Victor Osimhen. I'm not sure the Victor Osimhen situation, guys. Is he going to stay or leave? Because that's a big, big concern. Because if Victor Osimhen does leave, then my prediction, I might have to change my prediction. But I feel like he's going to stay uh, because I don't think Chelsea will sign him and I don't think PSG will sign him. So, I think he's going to stay if he, because I feel like he's only going to, going to either Chelsea or PSG. I don't really see any other clubs interested. So we'll see. Osimhen does stay. We'll see at the end of the window. But I think uh, Napoli will finish sixth. You know, you got Kovacko here as well, important player. The fifth, I'm going to go with Atalanta. I think Atalanta will just about miss out. You know, I feel like they'll be more focused on Champions League. And in the process, I think that will actually hurt them in the league, which is why I don't think they'll do it, guys. So I think they're going to unfortunately uh, miss out on Champions League, guys. But who knows? They may get Champions League through the league coefficients thing. Uh, we'll see about that. But in terms of league performance, we'll see. I don't think they're going to do it. I hope they can do it, though. You know, you got players like Lukman. You got players like uh, Skamaka as well. But there's, they might lose Coop Miners, guys. Coop Miners could be a big loss, guys. He was one of the best players. And now he could be going to Juventus. And then fourth, I have is Roma. Guys, I think Roma's going to get back to the Champions League. I think Roma's going to get back, guys. It's been so long since we've seen Roma in the Champions League. They have now signed Dobrik now. You know, you still you have players like Diabella now. You have uh, De Rossi there as a coach. I think it's time for Roma to get Champions League. They signed a quality player from Juventus as well in the midfield. And I just think it's time for Roma to get Champions League, guys. You know, I think it's really time. They signed Angelino as well. Roma made really good business this summer, and I think... They're showing intent that they want to get Champions League football. And I think this is a the season they're going to do it, guys. And I think they'll get forward. Third, I have is Milan. I think Milan have had a decent... Uh, they have had. They haven't really been too active in the transmoder, but they have made some signs. You know, they brought in uh, Murata um, to replace Giroud, of course. And they have now brought in Emerson Royale, which is interesting. You know, they sold Charles de Ketelar as well. So Milan, I think, will have a great season this season. And I think they'll do well. But I don't think they'll have enough to contest the league because I think one team is certainly stronger. And the second place I have is Juventus. Juventus have been great this season, guys. I've been liking this Juventus team. Now they have Mata as a coach, who I think is a fantastic coach. And I think Juventus is looking great. You know, they signed Kepren Thuram, you know, who is a quality player from Nice. And I just think Juventus are looking great, guys. Juventus are looking great. I think they're looking solid. And I think Juventus will have a great season this season, guys. Um, and I think they'll finish runners up. And uh, the first for me, I think is Inter. I think Inter is going to run away with this league. Uh, they're just too good. The team is still stacked, and Inter really haven't lost any notable players this summer, which is kind of like I mean, it's probably the first I'm saying for a long time. Like usually every summer, Inter loses a big player. I believe Inter haven't lost any big players this summer, which is a, an incredible achievement. So it just shows how well financially stable Inter is at the moment. You know, you have players like Tom Martinez that's still been at the club. You know. Yeah, Thuram as well, Barella, Chalnaho. Guys, this Inter team is great, and I expect them to do back-to-back, -back, and this is how I think the table is going to end. So I think Lautaro Martinez will win the Golden Boot, guys. And I forgot to mention, guys, Milan have a new coach, as in Francesca, to replace Pioli. So I think um, Milan will finish third. So, yeah, I mean, th that's pretty much my prediction of Syria. Now we're moving into La Liga, guys. La Liga, guys. Coming in last place, I was Leganes. I just don't think they're good enough, guys. To keep it a stack. Next up is Real Valladolid. I'm really sorry to do this. I want them to stay up. I feel bad because, you know, this is R9's club. But I think he'll go down. And I think Espanyol will go down. They they terminated Martin Braithwaite. And I think Braithwaite was actually a decent player for them. So, yeah, they'll go down. 
Uh, then seventh place guys have is Girona. Girona have been uh, they lost a lot of players. They you know they lost Couto to Dortmund. They lost Savio. Um, but they lost Dobrik as well. Girona have been really falling apart, guys. It wouldn't surprise me if Girona misses out on European football, but I just think that Girona for me will just about get seventh. But yeah, I think the I think the Champions League they'll also prioritize, and I think that's going to end the process, tank the league. So I don't think they'll be able to get another Champions League like they did last season. But yeah, I think they'll get seventh. And then six I have is Real Betis. I think Real Betis will have a great season. Um, this season you know they have players like East Coast still the club, Miranda as well. Um, you know, and I think Real Betis is a good team. And then fifth place I have is Real Sociedad. I think Real Sociedad still get fifth. Um, at the time of this recording this video, they may. Lose on Zuba Mendy. Zuba Mendy might be leaving. Uh, Mikko Moreno as well. Um, you know, but I think Real Sociedad still have a strong team. You still have Kubo. You still have Oyazabal. You still have a lot of quality players in that team. They did lose La Marto to Atletico Madrid. So I think Sociedad should have enough for a Europa League spot. I think, guys, I have a very interesting take here, guys. I think this is a season where Bilbao finally gets the Champions League. Now, this prediction is very tricky to make because a lot of this depends on whether Nico Williams does stay or not. Because at the time of this recording this video, Nico Williams is staying up at Bilbao, but there is a chance he could go to Barca. So at the time, I don't think he will go to Barca, which is why I have them in fourth. But if he does go to Barca, then I might have to change the prediction. So, you know, Nico Williams, you have Iñaki Williams, Berenger. You know, you have Vernal Valverde, who's a great coach. Guys, I think Bilbao could be a dark horse this season. Look out for Bilbao, especially at home. San Mamez, I think Bilbao will get fourth. Third, I actually have is Barcelona, guys. This might as actually come as a surprising prediction to my Barca fans. Guys, as a Barca fan, I'm just not really looking forward to next season. I just feel like, for me, the team is very much average at best. And I know there's a lot of young players coming through, like uh, Casado. Then you have Bernal. Then you have Paul Victor and all this. You know, for me, Lopez. But I just not been happy with Barca's business this summer. You know, uh, we we signed Almo, who I don't really think is necessary, and I just think for Barca, man, we really need to get Nico Williams. We really need to get Nico Williams, and I feel like when you look at Barca's attack, it looks really weak. Because I'm sorry, Yamal is really the only real amazing player you have. Because I'm sorry, Lewandowski is not that great anymore. He can still score your goals, but the guy is like declining as age. Rafinha is just a stats merchant. I'm sorry, Rafinha as a footballer isn't great, but he's good statistically, but as a footballer, not really. And if I on tours, the less said the better. So I, I, I'm just not really convinced with Barca, honestly, guys. I've really not been convinced. The lack of signs have been also been concerning as well. And I, I, I just, I'm just worried, man, as a Barca fan. I'm just worried. I think we could have a bad season, guys. And the second place I have is Atletico Madrid, guys. I think Atletico Madrid is a team to look out for. Because, sure, defensively, they may still be sketchy. And I still don't like really like the fact that Witzel is going to probably play at center back. But the fact that they signed Lord Namard is a great signing. They signed Connor Gallagher, who I think is a great player. I think he's in a suit Atletico Madrid. He has that kind of place. To, he, he has an athletic DNA in him, you know, by his, like, re, uh, th uh, you know, stalkery, his rec recklessness, his, you know, his fouling. He's just, he just feels like a Simeone type player. And they got Alvarez. Guys, Alvarez is a steal. Alvarez is an amazing player, guys. I rate Alvarez very highly, and I think he could do some damage. And, guys, Atletico Madrid could look very serious this summer. And this has probably been one of Atletico's best summers they had in a long time. So I think Atletico will cook this season, and I think they'll finally they'll be able to get Champions League, and they'll be able to get second place. But I don't think they'll be able to win the league title because Real Madrid is there. Real Madrid squad is insane. You know, the fact that they went 95 points last season, nearly went unbeaten, and they have now just added Mbappe and Endrick is quite insane, guys. Real Madrid have to win this league. Carlo Ancelotti, you have literally no excuses. You have to defend your league title because you are yet to defend your league title, man. And you have to do it this season. And I think Real Madrid will do it. As much as I don't want to admit this as a Barca fan, I think Real Madrid will finally win the league this season. And yeah, I think they'll do it. And so, yeah. And now here is my uh, La Liga predictions, guys. And the top scorer, guys, I have for the Pichichi uh, it is Vinicius Jr., guys. I think Vinicius will claim that Pichichi, guys. Let's move on to the next league, guys. Let's move on to the Premier League, guys. Premier League time, guys. Coming to last place, guys, is Ipswich Town. They just made it back to the Premier League against some time. I've, and I just don't think they're going to do much. So I'm sorry, Ipswich Town. You guys are going to go straight back down. 
Ninth place place is for Nani Forest. I think Nani Forest have been at the Premier League for a few seasons now, and I think this is the time they're going to go down. I've not really been impressed with them. They've been just doing barely enough the last few seasons, and I think this is the time they'll go down. And yeah, I think they'll, they'll go down. And the same goes for Brentford, guys. Brentford, I feel like I've just been struggling. They've also been a team that's also been a, They were on the relegation scrub last season, and I think they'll go down, guys. I think they'll go down this season. And seventh place, I was Tottenham, guys. Tottenham Hotspur, guys. I think Tottenham Hotspur will finish seventh. Um, I've been impressed with the business they're making. You know, they got Solanke, who I think is a striker that the Tottenham needed. And I just think Tottenham signs have been great this season. You know, and some of you guys are probably surprised. Why do I not have... Uh, uh, so, yeah, I think Tottenham, for me, I think they're a good team, and I think they'll finish seventh. Uh, the sixth place, guys, West Ham. Guys, West Ham have been amazing in this transfer window. They brought in full crook. They, uh, they, are, they might get to Debo as well. Guys, West Ham next season could be amazing. And remember, West Ham have no European football as well. So this is a huge blessing for West Ham. I think West Ham could really genuinely cook, guys. So I think West Ham will do it, guys. And I think West Ham will get sixth place, guys, which is a big statement. At the fifth place, I have is Newcastle. Newcastle United with no European football. I expect Eddie Howe to get them to European football. And with the key players still staying, like Isaac, Nick Pope, and et cetera, Newcastle should get fifth. Uh, the fourth I have is Manchester United. I think Manchester United had a great transfer window. They brought in Lenny Yoro. They brought in Xerxes. You know, they could potentially bring in DeLitt and Masrori. Good signings there. And I just think United are looking good. They're trying to show that they want to get top four. And I think Ten Hag has to get top four. United have to get top four this season. I'm sorry. If you get these kind of signs and don't get top four, it's a disgrace. United have to get Champions League, and I think they will. Third, I'm going to go with Liverpool. I think Arna Slot's done a great job with the team. The team is now where they're at. And I think Liverpool are looking good. and uh, But they do need to get some signs, though, because they haven't signed anyone yet at the, at the time of Quiz Radio on August 9th. So this is kind of concerning. But, you know, West, the Liverpool team is still really strong. So if they can get Zubamendi, that could be a huge steal. The second place I was Arsenal. I think California coming in has been great, you know, for Arsenal. But Arsenal really need that striker. They need that clinical striker, guys. If Arsenal really wants to win this league, they need that clinical striker. Because I'm sorry. I don't think Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz is good enough. And I'm sorry to say, guys, Man City is going to win this league again. For the fifth time in a row, the Man City team is just too strong. They brought in Savio this summer. Yes, they did let go of Alvarez, but I think Man City are just too strong. They got Erling Holland as well, who I think will win the Golden Boot, guys. So that's pretty much it for my predictions, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this prediction video, guys. Please let me know your predictions in the comments below. I'm sure there are some teams I didn't include for the certain leagues. I could have gone into that. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, that, that's just my predictions, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please run a like and subscribe. Let me know your predictions comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.